So obviously just a quick reflection on Salford. Franny, you're probably still a little bit frustrated that we didn't go on to win that game at 14-4. Yeah, I think we are. I think um, I don't think we were good enough in the fundamentals of the game leading up to it, but we you know, we, we came up with some players and we were in a position there then. One of those tries is given, which one of them's it's not an obstruction. You get that. Um, I think we kick on and we relax for the first time in 10 weeks, but we didn't. Um, you know, we there's a few things there where London didn't go away. They just get completing them. We we let a ball bounce, which is probably more frustrating of the of the other one. The other one checked. We let it bounce. They got a repeat set score. But some of the individual efforts in our D wasn't good enough. Um, but like I said, the fundamentals weren't good enough um, around the rook. And the manner of that defeat, obviously the drop goal in the last minute. I how difficult has it been or has it not been difficult to pick the lads up after that, that kind of loss? Oh no, it's it's not easy, it's not easy so you know we, we'd had a couple of days off um, which were planned anyway um, but we came in and we, we reviewed it which is, is hard to do but we had to confront it, you've got to confront what you've done and you know we left it by saying we can't do anything about what's been and gone mm. now, I'm not happy with it, the standards weren't good enough but there's no point moping around because the only way to get out of it is winning this game, and we've got to focus on Salford. And you know, while we were a bit, a bit raw on Sunday, we um, we've come in and we've trained, and you know, we've had a good day today. The lads have rolled the sleeves up again, and you know, we we start another week. Just a one last thing on the Salford game. You had Ollie Ashelbot at full back. You've been chopping in gin your full back. Were you happy with Ollie? Try 150 meters. Were you happy with how we went? Not too bad, is it? No. I think Ollie's done really well. He's um, you know, he's had to bide his time a little bit with, um, you know, but his injuries and how physical um, the schedules are and things like that. Uh, but he's looking really well. I think he um, he did really well. I think there's, a, there's aspects of his game that he's still learning, yeah. but at that age you do. And, uh, you know, I, I think the key to Ollie is, and we did a bit today at training, he's, he's asking questions. I'm trying to not give him too much. I want him just to play. Just go and play, Ollie, because what your instincts are good. Back your instincts. Um, there's probably a little bit of calming him down on the odd bit there in good ball but um, he's a real threat and he, he can earn some good metres for us There was a bit of a concern obviously Charlie Gubb was taken from the field how was that injury looking ahead of this week? Yeah well obviously we, he, he crawled off the field didn't he at the far side there and it didn't look good I think we, we probably looking um, where he's in doubt for this week but if we were, we were having to play next week he would definitely play so it, we'll make a call that on that tomorrow. Um, if he if he's not hundred percent, then we get ready for for to lose. But if uh, if he's not, then you know someone else will get a chance. And in terms of the rest of the side, are we looking shaping up? I mean, I'm particularly looking at Lloyd White in particular. Yeah, Lloyd Lloyd were desperate to play last week, but we had to set a protocol for Lloyd that you know he's been out for such a long time that he needs he needs he's been training and training really well, but he needed a proper full week of full on. Um, making sure there's no repercussions and there wasn't so he's ill available for selection uh, this week which is a real boost for us just because you know Lloyd's, Lloyd's a, a great player he's not only good at running out from nine he's, he's a good defensively as well You've been back in for a couple of days now with the lads what's trying to be like are they picking themselves up slowly? Yeah, yeah the, the, look it, the, the, the only thing they can control is how they train yeah at the moment you can't control what people say or what they think or they're hearing it from everywhere and I'm no different um, but no one's sulked it's not a nice position to be in um, but there's only one thing you can do and that's be better be better today than you was yesterday and be better every day this week so we're better than we were last week and then deliver what you practice boys deliver what you practice and, and have faith in what you train Moving on to Salford I mean they're on the back of a couple of good wins it's it's not. It's going to be a tough challenge for us on Saturday, isn't it? It is. It is. Salford, Salford made some signings and they've got a little bit of a buffer now on numbers. They're not really doing anything different what they've been doing all year, but it's effective. Yeah. They they're very efficient out of yardage. The back three are very good. Um, make lots of meters. Play the ball quick, uh, which allows the, the forwards to rest and, and then come and play down your end. So we've got a hell of a lot better in the rook. So we was. We were probably expecting a Super League rook, and we didn't get that. But having said that, we weren't, we weren't, we didn't carry strong enough, and we didn't tackle hard enough to give us to uh, have a better chance in the rook last week. And we've got to be a hell of a lot better this week because uh, one is Salford challenging physically, 
um, and we've got to be better. We've got to simply just be better and work harder. You made, you touched on they've made a couple of additions. Jackson Hastings in particular has made a big influence in the handful of appearances that he's made for Salford so far. Yeah, well, again, the experience that he comes in and you know he, he's a strong player when he starts to run the ball. Um, you know he'll he'll give obviously but Louis and Andrew in that half. So yeah, they've improved in the, in that aspect of their game. Um, but there's other players in there. There's other players that'll you know can cause you a lot more um, problems if you take your eye off them. And you've. Touch, you wanted our forwards to be kind of like a hunting pack. Are you, are you wanting that inside to get on top of, of their forwards and allow us to play? That's the again, we talk about fundamentals of the game. Is you know, I've talked about running hard and tackling hard. Well, that's that's your remit forwards. We can we can add on from that, and I want them to, I want them to play, I want them to be in position to uh, help our attacking play and be a threat. But ultimately, you've, you've got to get over their forwards, and that's the name of the game. and you know, whichever way we go this week, I'll be expecting to do that. Because if they don't, then we don't get to win the game. Yeah, and finally, Franny, you mentioned on, after the game on Friday we need to be united. I mean, in terms of the fans, I know they're frustrated, as are, as are you and the first team, but how important are they going to be on Saturday for the rest of the qualifiers? Yeah, I get the frustration as well. And, you know, I think sometimes it'd be nice... It'd be nice for some of us to shout and ball and to hopefully to vent it that way, but... You know, we, we need those those lads are desperate for support. The support and that we've got it a bit in players now, but we need it all wherever they are, whatever whatever little bit they can and I think there's a big difference between a supporter and a fanatic and I think supporters are you know, then we've got some great supporters, you know, I I always remember we went and we didn't play well at Salford last time. You know, it was one of my early games, I was really disappointed. I always remember a woman after saying you know, we're all disappointed as well, funny, but we'll be there next week and good luck and that's that's what it's all about. It's it's why well, you can vent it's a bit like a family, you can vent at your family one day but the next day all's forgotten and there's a bit of a nod and a wink and then off we go again and because we're desperate to do it for them. Mm. That, that's ultimately what we do. We do it for us and the fans, that's nothing else, no one else. That's all we're doing this for. We want the lads to do well, um, to have a good career. Uh, to make this club better so we can all enjoy ourselves at the moment. At the moment, it's tough, it's tough, and this is when you start looking at each other and you know, and, and, and blaming or whatever that is. We just need as much support as we can because you know, we, we've made errors. We've made errors and we've we've not performed at certain times. Other times, what I'm seeing is we're working too hard. We're not working smartly. We, we're trying to fix things on our own and that's, that's about trusting what you're about. And this team finds a way to find the hardest way to play the game. The club probably has for a, lo a long while. Is they just seem to find the hardest way to do it. And if we if we find a way to do it and it's hard, well, that's fine, we'll do that. But there's a, there's a, an easy way to do this. And, and the lads need to start, and this is me as well, us as a group, we need to make sure that we work it right. We get it right first time, and then things get a bit easier. We, we don't get the tension around the ground, we get into position, we get to 4 and 4 we do score the next try, it gets given, and we're up at 20, and then we can all relax. We've we've not had that all year, none of us, so I get the tension, I understand that. You know, There's no there's no one feeling it more than the coaching staff, because we plan it all week, we live it, and the players, the players live this. We, we're 100% focused on what we're trying to achieve, but at the moment, we're not doing it.